Tune into this week's episode of Gen B TV, where we give you exclusive springtime recipes here at one of the hottest restaurants on the West Coast. Welcome to today's show. I'm Jen Bolden with Gen B TV, a weekly web show where we provide fresh thinking on green living. We test out these ideas in our own life and then bring you just the best of the best in five minutes or less. This is the spring edition of our Cooking What's in Season series. We're here in Buellton, California at Industrial Eats with Chef Jeff Olson. Now, if you haven't seen the intro episode about the importance of eating what's in season, check it out right here. Chef Jeff, tell us, how did you become interested in seasonal local fare? It just, it, it makes sense. It would be strange to not cook seasonally now. Was it from an environmental standpoint or a taste standpoint or? Initially driven by taste. I think everyone just realized that tomatoes don't taste good in February. Right. And beets don't taste great in August. And there, there are things just taste better. Speaking of beets, we have some today. So let's dive into the recipes. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, these are Chioga beets. They're also called candy stripe beets. But yeah, so we roast these um, in the wood oven. We put a little olive oil, a bit of water in the pan, cover it with some tin foil, pop it in the wood oven, cook it for about 45 minutes, and then uncover it so it gets a bit of that wood oven flavor. Nice. So then we just peel them. Um, usually using a towel is the easiest oh, thing. Cool. It just kind of rubs the skin right off. Yep. And you can see that beautiful color that they get. Cut off this fibrous bit at the end here. And what we're left with is this beautiful beet. Got some Meyer lemons from a friend's lucky tree that survived the frost. Excellent. A little bit of its juice. It's our extra virgin olive oil. There's a little Malden sea salt. There's a great quote by a British uh, TV chef um, named Keith Floyd who said, buy the best ingredients and do as little as possible to them. That's your main job as a chef, and I completely agree. And that's and my that, only hope for cooking, actually. There you go, there you go. <laughs> it's gorgeous. We could embellish it a bit. This is some Greek yogurt that we've turned into a, we call it a raita, it's an Indian condiment mm. with some cumin, some herbs, some lemon juice. We'll just put that down as a base. Okay. And kind of arrange our beets. So we garnish this with um, papadam, which are these Indian flatbreads, um, gluten-free, by the way, made with lentil flour. You just put this on the barbecue and they puff up and then gotcha. they get really crispy. And did you catch a drift of this great packaging? Kind of trippy. So we'll just put that next to that and that's our beet salad. Love it. Cool. All right, so we're moving on to dish number two. Um, we're gonna do a ricotta, fava, lemon, and mint flatbread. Oh yeah, talk um, to me. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> You feel like stretching some dough? Why not? All right, all right. So we hand stretch all our dough here. I hate rolling pins because I like the irregularity that hand stretching gives you. So if you, you if you just kind of hold just inside, the gravity of the dough falling will almost it'll almost stretch itself. As the dough warms up, it gets much easier. Ready? One, two, two. three. <laughs> <laughs> so we have our dough. We added a little uh, of our fresh Bellwether Farms ricotta. And we'll hit it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese as well. Okay. Again, some great olive oil. And then again, a bit of salt. And into the oven. All right. So it's just a quick little wrist pullback. Now, for those poor souls that don't have the pizza oven, what do we do? Um, you can either use um, your grill and uh, a cast iron skillet on a grill and a, a kettle grill works great or you can use um, an inverted cast iron skillet in your oven at home. Just preheat your oven to 500. Here. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've always had bad luck with pizza stones in that they crack. They, yeah. Everyone seems to crack them within a year or something but cast iron works great. It retains the heat and it gives you that um, that that the approximation of a hot deck as in a pizza uh -huh. oven. So you're good to go. How creative. Yeah. So a few more things to put on now. Yeah. We are going to put some fresh fava beans dressed with a bit of Meyer lemon and some mint. Very, very simple. So we've got them um, in the pot here and you just sort of open those and shell those like you would an English pea. Then these need to be blanched in boiling water and shocked in ice water so you can preserve this color. And then they just pop out like that. And they're worth it. They are. They're, they're absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. They taste like springtime. And we're they gonna... are much different than the ones in the can, I have yes. to say. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to enhance the springtimeness of this dish with, um, again, some Meyer lemons that escape the frost, a bit of mint, more olive oil, and a bit more salt. And, I love that. And that's it. Keep it simple. So we'll just distribute this over our pizza base. 
I think they need a bit more olive oil and a bit of a junky. Now we're ready to plate. And uh, taste. And taste, exactly. <laughs> Take it in. I would say I've been waiting forever, but it really didn't take that long. No. no. Mm. I would have waited forever for this. This is shocking. It can be this good with just these few ingredients. It's choosing great quality ingredients at the peak of their season, which beets and fava beans are happy in springtime. Are super happy in springtime. Yeah, don't get in their way. Just do as little as possible and let them speak for themselves, which I think is what we've done here. And of course, cannot forget the beets. I mean, this is the best version of eating your vegetables I've ever encountered. <laughs> mm. That's no joke. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your very secret recipes with us. Oh, pleasure. <laughs> and we'll do it again soon. I hope so. So thanks for caring, thanks for sharing, and we'll see you next week. Just look for the Psycho Bunny in your store. No. <laughs> mm. Can we do another take? <laughs> Just kidding.